Shredded pork roast sandwiches are always a hit. The pork is cooked slowly until it's just falling apart and then piled high on a toasted bun. And because most of the work is done ahead of time, this is a great recipe to make if you're entertaining. Start by preheating your oven to 325 degrees. You'll need a three pound boneless pork shoulder blade roast, also known as pork butt roast. First, trim the excess fat from the meat. It's an ideal cut because of all the marbling. It becomes really succulent and tender when it's cooked slowly. Next, set the meat aside and make the rub for the roast. Peel eight cloves of garlic and mince them. Transfer the garlic to a small bowl and add two teaspoons of ground coriander, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of crushed dried oregano, one teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of ground black pepper, and a half teaspoon of cayenne powder. Stir all the ingredients together to make a paste. Rub the paste into the pork using your hands. This rub will season the pork and the cooking liquid as it roasts with its savory flavor. Transfer the meat to a roasting pan and add one cup of beef broth. Cover the pan tightly with foil or use a lid if your roasting pan has one. This recipe can easily be done in a slow cooker as well. Just cook the roast on low for eight to 10 hours or on high for four to five hours. Roast the pork in the oven until it's very tender, about two and a half to three hours. Low, slow, moist cooking is the secret to breaking down the collagen so you can pull the pork later. Whether you're oven roasting the pork or using a slow cooker, test for doneness by seeing when the meat is tender and pulls apart easily with a fork. Remove it from the liquid with a slotted spoon and place it in a large bowl. Use a spoon to remove the extra fat that's collected on top of the cooking liquid. Reserve the cooking liquid. When the meat is cool enough to handle, use two forks to shred the meat. It should just fall apart. Add just enough of the cooking liquid to moisten the meat and stir it together. This recipe can be made ahead up to this point. Just warm the meat in a saucepan over medium heat, stirring it frequently until it's heated through. In the meantime, you'll want to lightly toast your buns so they don't get soggy. This recipe makes about five cups of cooked meat, which is plenty for 12 sandwiches. Hamburger buns or Kaiser rolls work well for this sandwich. When the buns are toasted, just place some of the shredded pork on them and top the sandwich. Now who can resist that? Shredded pork roast sandwiches are delicious as is, or topped with a little coleslaw for some added crunch. For another twist, try making them on slider buns as hors d'oeuvres.